Paul, what else should we keep in mind, uh, you know, about the U.S. culture uh, and how to interact with potential customers or colleagues? Um, as far as interaction goes, Americans prefer to be addressed by their first name. In most countries around the world, people re refer to each other in business by their surname. If you do that in the U.S., you will either get a shocked response or you may get no response at all. Yeah. So in the U.S., assume that you should leave with somebody's first name. Yeah, like I would address uh, an email, hi, Paul, comma, uh, if I was to send you an email as opposed to hi, Mr. Adler, you know? Yes. Hi, Mr. Adler comes across as a machine generated email. It also comes across as you not having done any research about that person's business. So there's a lack of uh, relationship consideration. Um, a few other things. Uh, the way Americans conduct meetings. Americans will generally, because everything in the U.S. is a competition for mindshare, Americans will generally start a meeting with business, maybe talk about some social issues, current events, or that sort of thing, and then finish up with business. In many other cultures, the meeting starts with general social talk, current events, sports, that sort of thing, morphs into business, and finishes up with social talk. Yep. If if you make an attempt to lead with social talk in the U.S. business meeting, you may not be successful in trying to get the person you're meeting with to then focus on business. Yeah, and, American, and I, think, I was just going to say in the U.S. meetings as well, when you get to the end of a meeting, you often want to focus on what are the next steps? Did we schedule the next meeting? The idea of, you know, can you book a meeting from a meeting to continue the conversation either with an internal team or with a potential client? Uh, and then, you know, what are the dates that certain deliverables or whatever the actions that items are, you know, when are they due and who's going to do them? I think is often how we'll end meetings in the U.S. as opposed to, you know, what are you doing this weekend? And did you, you know, see that that local sporting event? Exactly. The main point is do something to keep the train moving, to keep the potential for business going, rather than changing the topic to something that's completely unrelated to business. Yep. Uh, and it all goes back to scale and competition for mind share that there's you need to be aware that there's always somebody in line behind you. And if your meeting isn't successful, you're at the back of the line again.